In the book of First Timothy, chapter 4, we read, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. I want you to pay attention to this right here because what I'm going to show you today defines this to a T. You're looking at Kent Christmas. I'm not going to pull any punches today. This man is one of the most evil men that I've seen within the realm of the false prophets. Now this sawed off munchkin is one of the false prophets who falsely prophesied that Donald Trump was going to win the last election. He was absolutely wrong. According to scripture, you are to mark and avoid him and by all means reject this man. He is a confirmed false prophet. This is Timothy Dixon. He also is a confirmed false prophet who also falsely prophesied that Donald Trump was going to win the 2020 presidential election. This man also is extremely evil. This man, Timothy Dixon, has so many false prophecies that one can hardly believe that anyone with a brain cell would actually follow him. But they do. Now, these two hucksters came together, I believe it was last year in August. They're doing some sort of a service, a prophecy service, at the Regeneration Nashville Church. They're up on stage, wandering around, doing their fake prophecies. But the clip I'm going to show you is of a real scam. And I want to show you this to further expose these swindlers as they orchestrate this scheme in order to dazzle the crowds. I'm going to play this clip and you can decide for yourself. But when I saw it, it took my breath away and it was very personal. And I'll tell you why after you watch the clip. The brother in the pink shirt right here in the top balcony. Right, yep, right there. The Lord is healing you of cancer. You have cancer, but you ain't wanted nobody to know about it. And you've kept it a secret. <clears throat> but the Lord heals you by His divine power. Let me, let me say this before you start. <clears throat> he came to our Elijah Co. conference for me to pray for him because he has cancer. And I prayed over him yesterday or the day before for cancer. And Brother Timothy didn't know that. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you believe this? Or is this one of the most obviously orchestrated scams possibly that you may have ever seen in the fake ministries of these absolute deceivers? Now, using your God-given discernment, along with common sense and the brain that our Holy Lord has given you. Do you honestly believe that this hillbilly fraud has the ability and the power of God to point at an actual cancer patient to discern that just by random, this guy up in the balcony in the pink shirt has cancer Oh, and God is healing you. And then have it interrupted by the munchkin to pretty much give it away that, oh yeah, by the way, we prayed for him. He has cancer. And, and Timothy just, oh wow, he just didn't know. And you hear the claps of the people, the applause, as though this was some great thing up on stage. Friends, if you believe that, I have a bridge for sale. I'd like to show it to you because I'm pretty, fairly confident that you will buy anything. 
In the book of Galatians, chapter 6, starting in verse 7, Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. There is seldom greater evil found than those who portray themselves as great ones of God. As they work their scams and steal the faith of gullible believers and victimize actual cancer patients. My wife is a cancer survivor, and what we went through with her is indescribable, but we give all the glory to God that we can report that she is a survivor. She survived cancer. And I can tell you that if I went to somebody in confidence and told them that we haven't told anybody, we're keeping it hush hush, but we need prayer. We're, we, you know, we're requesting prayer from what we perceive to be a man of God. And then he took that confidence and told another scam artist, false prophet. And then they got on stage and broadcast it in front of tens of thousands of people because this goes on to social media because the camera follows them wherever they go so that they can do these types of things to make it seem like, oh, this was just out of the blue. Timothy just prophesied that. He didn't know. Honest, he didn't know. I can tell you, boy, I, I can't even say it, how absolutely angry I would be. These opportunists who use the name of Jesus Christ to further their own filthy lucre. It is just shocking. And I, and I have to just wonder who would follow this nonsense. This is an absolute clown show. And it is the most evil that I can tell you that I've seen uh, as of late. I wonder who this guy was in the pink shirt up in the balcony. Now, this was done a year ago, as far as I know. I wonder where this guy is. Do you think Clown 1 and Clown 2 will give us any report? Of course not. But I wonder if that guy in the pink shirt, I, I would love to hear his thoughts on this. I pray that, that indeed he is doing better. And I certainly would pray for healing. But what you witnessed today was a scam, was a scheme. This is what they do. They're absolute frauds. This guy right here is an absolute diggling. Again, with so many false prophecies, you can't even hardly categorize them all. There's so many. It's unbelievable. I pray that if you're listening to me, stay away from these frauds. They are absolute certified false prophets running scams in order to pad their pockets. They care not for the lost sheep. They are hirelings. And God will reward them according to their folly. They have seared consciences. Unbelievable.